Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a love message. This is a love reading for you, Libra. Let us see what is coming towards you, Libra. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is for the sign of Libra, please, okay? Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This reading for today, this is for you. Let us see what's coming towards you guys. What is the guided message for the Libra sign? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. This is a love reading. This is a love message for you, Libra. Okay, let's see what's coming towards you. What's the love message for the Libra sign? What's the guided love message for the Libra sign? You have the six of wands. You have the three of wands. Let's see what's coming towards you in the love department. You have the two of swords. Oh, you have an ace of wands. You have the eight of pentacles in here. You have the page of pentacles. Sorry, page of swords. The will of fortune. And then you've got another ace of swords. An ace for an ace. An ace for an ace. Okay, let's start the reading. You have a six of wands. You've got a three of wands. You've got a two of swords. You know, it feels like you're dating, you're getting to know, or it feels like you know, for some of you, you're chatting to multiple. It could be like um, online dating in here with a six of wands. But you're really showing off, you know, or this could be advice to you. I feel such a big... Like you're on a date. You're about to date. I'm kind of picking up that something is coming up soon and it will make you date or connect romantically. Like something is out. Yeah, look at that. The tower card told you guys could be an eclipse but soon you will come out from being stuck you know there's a sort there's a big change coming your way you will feel a huge change you will feel like a big shift in you're no longer like confident you know six of wands you're going online dating, you're chatting, you're texting, you're calling, three of wands. It seems to be that you're coming into life again in terms of romantic. And you're not even hurry to absorb. Like you're just really having fun. Something tells me that you're about to enter a cycle or a shift that will allow you to choose, you know, because I'm kind of picking up someone in the past, someone new. A very expressive kind of vibe. Six of Wands, you're flirting, dating, getting to know. You're also moving forward, like you're following up. You're putting it out there, Libra. The Tower card, the Two of Swords. You're just simply having fun. You know, Two of Swords. I'm not, that, I'm not expecting anything, Sunshine. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Look at that. Like, if there is someone in front of you, like, if there's someone calling you, texting you, you're entertaining it. You're entertaining love, I would say. And you're very aggressive. You want to entertain it. You want to grow it. But no pressure. Um, it's just entertain it, connect with it, go with the flow. Because if you entertain it, you go with it, it will grow eventually. But there's no pressure. Because the two of swords in here, it feels like, I'm just going to go with the flow, entertain, flirt, have some fun, get to know. If someone is going to text me, call me, or ask me out, I'll go for it, sunshine. Life is too short. I want to experience love. I want to I want to entertain the thought of falling in love again. And if I've got someone in here who's a prospect, why not? Right, sunshine? Yep. You are an emperor. You're managing your dating life. You know, you're confident. Something tells me like you want to try. You want to entertain. You want to connect. You're not in a hurry to go into a relationship. You just really want to dip here 
try here test the water and just go with the flow now you've got a romantic person in here two two energies libra let's look at the ace of wands okay you know so the ace of wands in here it could be someone in the past who gave you a headache you know what in the very beginning i'm kind of pick up, picking up this ace of wands in here this is someone that made you cry now they're crying there's a person who made you cry now they're crying whatever pain they gave you they can feel the pain they gave you they have two of wands you've got the three of wands in here they have the two of wands they want to offer a peace offering you know, I feel like this person, Libra, you block them. Um, you block them, they will reach out to you in another way. And they will tell you that, hey, I'm sorry, unblock me. I want to say sorry to you. The star card. Could be an Aquarius, but I have to cover this down because it shows the boobies and it's censored by YouTube. So, mm, hangman. I tell you, there is a past person who I would say they give you a headache. You know, this person, they're going to work hard to really earn their way back to you. There's a past person. There could be a third party in here. To be honest with you, Libra, you're playing around. Not in a bad way. You're not taking it seriously. I would say because they gave you the three of swords, you would connect. You would explore. But you... You're talking to them, but for them, like, it's a feeling of, I'm just talking to you. And, you know, it makes me, it makes me, <laughs> like, you're so cold. You're talking to them, but you're cold. Page of Swords. Like, this person is sweating and excited. Like, they're excited that you're texting them or calling them or you've allowed them to speak to you. Like, someone of an ex or maybe in the past that gave you a little bit of a headache. They're willing to work hard to get you back. But you're playing. I'm kind of picking up a very playing. Not a player. But oh really? Yeah, really? Okay. You're talking to them but you're not taking it seriously. Playful. Like it's a sign that you have moved on. And the thing with this person is that they're scared. Because you're no longer sad. You know, they feel that you move on. They feel that you can just talk to them casually, joke regularly. They actually expected that you would be more sad or upset or angry. It means that you're not over with them, but you're just simply happy because you move on. So something tells me there's a person who's going to pursue you and you're not taking it. You're not taking it in such a very rush way. They've got a lot to prove. Like, really? Oh, yes. Like, this person is going to joke at you. They're going to try to incorporate things that you've done in the past or conversation that you've done in the past to lure you back and to, to make you remember how great they are or how amazing your connection or relationship is. And you're like, really? Oh, yeah. And in spite of that, you just left me or, you know, you betrayed me. Yeah, great. So there's a little bit of wit or sarcasm from you, Libra, in here. You're talking to them, you're entertaining them, but you're not taking them seriously. That's the vibe I'm getting in here. Yeah, four of cups, look at you. Oh, really? They're giving you the cup and you're like, yeah, right. You know, four of cups. Something tells me that you've locked your heart when it comes to this person. But because you've moved on, you've healed. So you can, you, it, it's a reading where you can talk to them. You can look at them eye to eye without falling in love. You can look at them in eye to eye without falling in love. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I would say wherever you are right now, you're happy. For some of you, this is a person in the past. The minute you talk to them or the minute you see them, you realize that I'm no longer in love with you. Like you will realize that like it's, it's a feeling of... You thought all along you were so you're still in love or you still like them, but no. The minute you talk to them, the minute you see them, there is something about, most especially if you talk to this person or you see this person, there's a feeling of, why did I like you? You know, like, sorry, 
like you're looking at them you're talking to them and you feel nothing at all scary you know wheel of fortune six of wands and you win you win because you move on so i don't know i'm kind of picking up that you have experimented with this person imagine you're talking to your ex and you're happy you're glowing you're chirpy and your person is so seriously impressing you um overtaking the conversation to make you remember how you and them were in love or you like each other they're trying so hard while you are just having some good talk good fun and smiling and chirping you don't see them as a lover anymore you're not so in love with them i would say yeah ace of pentacles you see them as someone who you like someone you love but not the same person they are right now yeah two of cups so funny the two of cups they look different i'm kind of picking up that you're talking to a person you were in love with them in the past you move on you talk to them you see them it's different it's completely different libra mm. and the person that you're talking to your ex or someone you dated they are quite shocked that you have moved on in fact this person is like this is disappointing to see that it's more of I'm so jealous and I'm so S-T-U-P-I-D for letting go Libra. You, One thing that they will realize, Libra, is that you move on. You know, by the looks of you, the way you talk, the way you move, the way you joke at them, you've completely move on. Like you see this person like a, like when you look at them, they're not the same person that you love. That's the vibe. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Like, you're sure about one thing. I'm no longer in love with you. I move on. And I can look at you in the eye. And I can tell you that I have nothing but plain feelings for you. And they know that. They feel that in your vibe. How you have moved on. Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords. Let's look at the outcome. Wow. They have to beg you or they have to wait until such time that you, they have to work their way back into your heart. But you're too, I don't know, it feels like you're not excited with this person anymore, Libra. And the reason being is that somehow you know there is an ace of swords because this is you. I don't like this anymore. I want new person. There's a newcomer in here. It's quite far. I feel like this reading tells me that you would have to somehow reject. Like it's a reading where you have to face someone in the past. Realize that, oops, I'm not in love with you. I thought I was still in love with you. You reject it. You move on. You activate the Ace of Swords. So once you move on from this, like, okay, sunshine, I don't like this person anymore. I'm just going to move on. You know, like the universe gave this person back to you only to find out that I'm not in love with you. I've got to go. And then the Ace of Swords comes along. You've got somehow another person here. It's a bit... Yeah, someone is waiting for you, Libra. Waiting for your love. Seven of Cups. It's... Oh, wow. Magician card. I tell you, you're going to meet someone new or could be existing in your life or connected to someone exists, a friend. It could be in a, it could be in a, I'm kind of, it's under, it's like an event where, um, it's an event where there's lots of jewelries. I'm seeing lots of jewelries, like dress up, you know, maybe wedding, ball, um, lots of people wearing white. For some of you, you have to go through like a castle or you have to draw, you have to drive up and maybe there's like an event in there. I'm also seeing another event where dress up, jewelries, white colors, flowers. I feel like it's connected to those events. Five to seven, ten weeks from now, there's going to be an event and they work there and... For some reason, you will 
get their attention or they will get your attention. They work there and you've got some requests and they work there or they're part of the crew. They're part of the organizer. Um, they're going to be busy, ten of wands, but you'll catch their eyes. Look at that. This is this person. They could be running the event and then you they will catch your eyes. They're busy, but they would be staring at you. Now, after the event finished, they would change clothes and they could mingle and then you will talk to them. Okay, but it's an event. It's a party where they have to be busy to set it up. And then after they set up, they get to join the crowd or they get to join the team, something like that. And they sit next to you. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay. Because look at them. They look like, you know, they're wearing the work clothes. And then they sit with you and they look pretty or handsome. Look at that. Like you would take a second look again and smile and like, you're looking hot. So Libra. You have activated two cycles in here. One, a cycle to reject someone in the past. And the second cycle is a new person. So, wow. Good on you, Libra. You are ruling. You're entertaining love in full bloom. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Libra, you know what to do. All of the details is down in the description box below. Thank you again for your support, for private reading, for the merchandise. Everything is processed in the website. Thank you for your support. I'll connect with you soon again, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.